If you ever wondered how the hill descent control system worked in BMWs, well, it's very simple. All you have to do is press the hill descent control button. Uh, you'll get an icon on the screen plus the uh, number of kilometers per hour, which will be the speed with which will be you'll, uh, you're, you'll be descending. So all I have to do now, I'm on a hill, is have the car in drive and lift my uh, foot off the brake. So I'm not pressing the brakes, I'm not pressing the uh, gas pedal. So now what happens is that the car is braking on all four wheels. Now, of course, that also happens if you brake yourself, but the system applies different braking power on each wheel in order to not let the car slide in any way, you know, anywhere. So that's very important. Now, when you don't need the system anymore, you can simply turn it off with another press of the button. Now, when you have it turned on, you can also set the speed with your uh, cruise control buttons. So if you want to go faster, you can set that. Although I probably wouldn't recommend going very fast off-road and downhill because, well, something can happen very quickly. Now, a very important feature of this system is that you can also use it in reverse. So let's say you come to some kind of a, you know, dead end and you climbed up and there's no way to turn around. Well, you'll have to go in reverse. So you put the car in reverse, you turn on the hill descent system again. It's creepily so, you take your foot off the brake pedal and the car is now braking itself in reverse at half the speed, uh, eight kilometers forward, which you can also increase, but four kilometers per hour backwards. So this is, again, very important because if you've got mud, snow, or, you know, a slippery surface of some sort, this will really help you take control of the car going reverse because it's very possible to quickly start sliding, which we actually tested ourselves and we were in a situation like that when you were going in reverse. So there you go.